That's George hanging out right above me, looking down on me. And guess what he sees? Two boxes. This is a mystery box. This one's not. Let's find out what's inside. This is an exciting one. The number of boxes on this one, 279. However, this one was $230, so one of the cheaper ones now, which was at the standard price it used to be. Now, this was from a separate order. I actually ordered a couple of things from Evike similarly, and I always, if it's available, throw in the swag pack. This one cost $25. When this arrived, I was expecting a very, very small box. Now, this one is actually bigger than the mystery box, and it probably weighs about four times as much. So guys, uh, let's find out what is in these two boxes and if the swag pack can actually beat the box of awesomeness being 11% the price of an actual mystery box. This is the box of awesomeness, as I said, it's from Evike. Good paper, always in the box. Uh, first thing, this is kind of cool. It's a rolling target. You can kind of follow it around. So if you shoot it, it's going to roll. It's then going to reset just from the weight of it. And you can continue to shoot it. Basically a moving target in different locations. Next thing, this feels cheap. Right, so this always reminds me of Australia. I think in Australia, airsoft is actually illegal. So they use these gel blasters. Uh, usually what it is, it kind of makes sense to me. Because obviously if you're a kid, you don't want to be hit by something that's plastic, very small and makes you bleed. So this is a good alternative. Basically what they do is, is drop a load of these small gel caps into a bucket. They pour water in, the gel caps kind of expand, absorb the water. Then you can load it in here and shoot them. It's not an airsoft gun and this is an airsoft mystery box. Obviously it is related in some way. So we have two boxes here. It feels like a pistol box and an AEG box. Uh, oh yes. Okay, so guys, uh, you can obviously see on here who the manufacturer is. I'm not actually the biggest fan of Crytac, not because I haven't played with them, but generally just the opinions online. Now, I think that they can perform very well and they have done in the past. Uh, however, the main gripe with these, I believe that people have, is that they do not take the kind of standard Tokimori base parts, which obviously most guns kind of across the airsoft spectrum do, depending on the type of gearbox etc the type of style of gun however i think these are all the proprietary so basically you have to use their parts they're expensive uh, and i think there have been some issues just with quality control over the last six months if you disagree with me i want to know that as well or if you've heard this stuff but you think it's wrong or you think it's right i'd love to know right guys so i can see from this box here it is actually something i already have most people are very happy with this and it's different you've got your m4 base so obviously you can use m4 mags in it which is awesome dual-sided selector switch it's got a charging handle with a whole back bolt there you know i think in airsoft if you're playing in dusty environments this is obviously not that useful because it's going to be down uh, with you firing the rifle if you've got something covering there i do think it protects the gearbox and the hop up more but i like the feeling of this yeah i mean it's a cool gun one more item cyber gun do make some cool uh pistols and if it was going to be a cyber gun i'd prefer it to be a pistol it does feel like a good weight and this is it's a high capper. Oh, is it? Oh, it's a 1911 or a 2011 as some people would call it, but it is a 1911 copy. It looks like a high capper. The big difference is it's a single stack mag. It is kind of cool. I'm very happy to get it because it's something I don't have. It's something that I will use. It's got your uh, safety here. It's got a bolt movement there and other safety there obviously that's the pressure grip to actually make you pull the trigger i think it's cool i mean cybergun i think they make good externals with a pistol the actual performance is, is important because normally you're using them quite close range maybe if you're using it with a speed soft style you might not be uh but to be honest guys i'm very very happy with that box Oh, I'm actually not joking. This is probably three times the weight. Okay, guys, so I'm going to open this up now. Because this is very awkward because the box is so big. I'm going to find out what we've got in this swag pack. Okay, so we know what this is, guys. We just saw this. Uh, they didn't give it a value in the box. So at the moment, I believe we're at zero dollars. We have one from this box. We have one from the other box. They are completely identical, which is fine. Uh, right, so this is one of those mags. So here we go with the um, 60 round mags. I'm quite happy with this because that's literally just gonna be an extender out the bottom of the AAP, which is not that offensive. It's almost just having an extended 50 round gas blowback mag. These are metal mags, so there is some weight to them. Sorry, so that's one, two, three, four. 
five, six. I think this is right. Yeah. So 600 rounds. I was thinking for a game, I can run those mags quite easily. And I think we've got another one. Yeah. Okay. Seven. Okay. So that is another one. Eight. Okay. I've gone too far on this one. Another one. So that is all zero right now. And there are a few little things. Um, so these are kind of useful. As you can probably see, they light up. Uh, if you're going and playing a game like Milsom West and you're playing at night and you want to see who's in your squad, etc., uh, these can be quite good. You know, you run them on the back of your helmet, etc. I've got like a little lanyard here, which you can use if you want to. Uh, from the corner of my eye, it looks like an indescript kind of box. Uh, so I don't know. Oh, sorry. Most importantly, uh, got that little guy, 1911. Seeing as we've got a 1911 in the last box, that would make sense. Okay, so this weighs a ton, uh, which to be honest, actually is not a good thing for me, for me because I like running light guns if I'm playing. Now that varies obviously in the game I'm playing. If I've got a weapon mounted AEG, then obviously heavy and the weight of it doesn't really matter. However, carrying guns, LMGs, etc. I do not like to carry heavy guns. So I've got rid of that bit. There's a bit of tape here. Ooh, the build up, the build up. Ooh. <laughs> this isn't a gun. This is not an AK authentic wood weapon, is it? EMG unrivaled performance. So I expect this is a gun rack where I can actually put some of my uh, rifles, I would expect. This is probably not for pistols. I'm actually not that annoyed, guys. For $25, this is really good. You know, it's actually uh, something that's useful. It's not like getting an AEG that I'm not going to use. Actually like getting something that is really usable. I can put it in my garage. Um, so guys, I'm gonna look up the value of this quickly. Just make sure, yeah, there's nothing else in the box. So I'm gonna look up the value. I can't imagine this is gonna be more than $424, but we will find out. I, guys, I am a little bit upset, I have to say. Okay, so there was actually only two winners of this box, which is pretty great. So it was a winner box. Um, normally you get 100 winner boxes, but this one, it doesn't give a value for. So it's the EMG Battle Wall Professional Grade Adjustable Real Wood Gun Rack. So it's real wood. What's up Airsofters? I would say for the weight of it, it seems good value. Uh, but this thing costs $105. So the value that I got is $80. So I got $80, which means that I basically 3 x three and a half times my money, which technically is a better ratio than what is given in the uh, box of awesomeness. However, for spending $200, I got $424 in value. So I'm gonna give it two separate Badger ratings. I'm gonna give the first box a four out of five stars because actually it's a really good win it's good value it's something that i would have liked unfortunately i've got another one one of them however it's not a five star you know it's not the best thing i've ever got it's not like the pkm variant that i had before again weighed a ton very individual very unique very rare and it was a 900 dollars. this one is actually going to be the same it's not the best it's not the winner it's not getting a 400 dollars aeg uh for 20 dollars spent but it is 105 dollars. it is a two winner box so i think it's at least four out of five stars so in general guys for both boxes this video is going to be at a four out of five star rating I would prefer the box of awesomeness in terms of what I got, but actually practicality wise, this is great. To be honest, in a swag pack, I would say this is probably one of the best things you can get because with a lot of this stuff, it's very easy to go, oh wait, I could use a gun rack, but actually I can just wait and get that later. What I should buy is another pistol or another AEG. Very hard to not do because obviously you want the new exciting thing, but this is actually great. It fills a hole in my arsenal, in my storage. So I'm really happy. And it gives me something to do this afternoon, which is to actually re, well, to build it. Thank you so much guys for tuning in. I will see you on the next unboxing video and hopefully some more gameplay soon. Have a great day where you where have a great day wherever you are. See you guys soon. Goodbye.